caucus. Yes. Those are among some of the provisions that are in this bill. Uh, however, those started off as pandemic related measures I mean. back in the day, um, and they were supposed to be temporary. How exactly did they fight racism at the time if they were supposed to be temporary and they weren't? Oh. Okay, whoa, whoa. <laughs> First of all, mail-in balloting has been the way of voting in the state of Utah. It hasn't been temporary, and that is one red state. Could I – could do you want me to – are you talking or am I? I'm talking. And mail-in balloting has been the way of life in many, many states, red, blue, and purple. And one of the things we've learned from the pandemic is that – it's actually incredibly helpful in a pandemic, but it's also made it easier for people to vote. So what has gone on in some states is they've rolled back the very things that will make it easier to vote, leading to more and more, as I pointed out, confusion. The other thing it's important to know, and the reason I use the example of Montana and same-day registration, is they are also rolling back things that have long been the law in states. They basically, to quote a North Carolina court regarding a law a few years ago are discriminating with surgical precision by looking at each state and figuring out how did more people vote this way? Well, let's change that. Oh, 70,000 people registered to vote in the state of Georgia uh, during the runoff period. So let's do two things. Let's reduce the runoff period, which they have done, Senator Warnock, and then let's uh, uh, not allow same day uh, registration, not same day, registration during that period. That's exactly what they've done. So I can give you numerous examples of both ways. They've rolled back things that they changed during the pandemic, like witnesses uh, for mail-in ballots in South Carolina, then they took that away, and things that were put in place even before the pandemic. But no matter which way they did it, it all adds up to one thing, and that is voter suppression and limiting people's freedom to vote. And voter suppression aimed not at the general population, but at particular populations, particularly people of color, urban people, et cetera. Oregon, just state students, young people. Oregon has had mail-in voting for 30 years, long before the pandemic, ma'am. It also has the highest or second highest after Minnesota percentage of people participating. Second Isn't it good to have a high percentage of people participating? Second highest. Manu, you get the last question. Senator Manchin suggested to us that Democrats don't have their priorities straight. Voters are concerned about inflation, the economy, COVID. Should you not be using your majority to focus on those issues rather than one that you know is due to fix? We've answered that question a whole bunch of times. We are, this is so sacred and so important. The right to vote is the wellspring of our democracy. We're not abandoning the other issues. We can do more than one. But to abandon voting rights, when you have seen how important it is in the country, when it is the wellspring of our democracy, when it is so vital to bringing full equality in this country, and racism has been the poison of America, would be a disgrace. We're not abandoning it. We will do other things as well. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.